What kind of visitors might we expect? Ah, oh, in the fall, I mean, there's pests. You you get um, cabbage loopers come into the garden. Aphids are in the garden during this time of year. But then you also have visitors like birds and bees and butterflies and things like that. So you want to make it a really welcoming space for some parts of nature and visitors from nature. But then you also want to make it to where it's a deterrent for things like rabbits or um other things, mice that burrow. We had to fight mice for a while in the garden, and and the reason and the way we got around that is by putting dog hair around the outer rim of the garden because wow. it deters rabbits from coming into your space. And I have a husky that sheds a lot, so <laughs> it just works. Uh, that's a new tactic, uh, new to I think this broadcast. I haven't heard that uh, dog hair for deterrent of rabbit. Mm-hmm. Rabbits and mice, yes. And mice, all right. New to me, too. Wow. Yeah, so if you know a dog groomer, sprinkle some dog hair around your, your garden beds and it'll keep the pests out. Dogs and cats are one of the hard things to marry in with the garden because the dogs like to dig and roll and the cats like to turn into a litter box. So usually <laughs> I'm trying to keep both of those things away from my garden. Absolutely. I hadn't thought about just taking their hair and bringing it and sprinkling it around. I yep. like that. I wonder if that would work for deer. It's supposed to work for deer. All right. I have a new challenge now to find <laughs> dog hair. Enough dog neighbor. hair <laughs> to surround the urban farm from deer. <laughs> That'd yeah. be crazy. All, that, all, all Greg's neighbor's dogs are all naked. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Rosie, Rosie on the house. Every Arizona homeowner's best 